In AP Environmental Science, we primarily focus on looking at the environment really from a scientific perspective. We end up touching upon um, a lot of different disciplines in science, like geology and chemistry and biology and physics, ecology, so on and so forth. As far as sustainability is concerned, a lot of the initiatives that came out link very well with our curriculum. The different topics, food and energy and water, waste and transportation, those are all topics that we discuss in the classroom. And so as far as the curriculum is concerned, it crosses all those different topics, but then it puts it into the context of how does that relate to sort of everyday people. We went on this field trip to Rapun Farm. The idea behind the field trip was to take the kids out of just simply discussing these topics in the classroom and put them in an environment where they can interact with the topics in a way. We decided to go to Rapun Farm in particular because they tried to be as sustainable as possible with every aspect of the farm in terms of energy and how they live and the waste that they produce. And these are issues that we wanted to sort of bring down to a very sort of palatable level that kids could relate to and experience. We wanted to look at issues of energy, food, soil and water. And then we wanted to take some of the laboratory techniques that we use in science and in the classroom and be able to take them onto the field trip. We wanted them to actually collect data. We did some water quality testing. What's in that water? How fast is it moving? Are there different toxins there? What's the DO level? And be able to compare the water that comes in versus the water that comes out. And so they could actually see the difference for themselves. The same thing with the soil samples. There's different organic fertilizers that they use on the farm. And so we wanted them to actually test the soil and see what nutrients are there. Test the fertilizer and see what nutrients are there. Test different taro patches and see how those nutrients differ from one to the other. Compare a taro patch with a cornfield. And so that we're not simply telling them, we wanted them to actually find out and then come up with their own questions beyond that. What we wanted to do was go and learn about what the raccoons are doing in terms of sustainability on their farm, but then also be able to contribute, give something back. We had a rotation where the kids went and picked coffee, and then we also had the kids work in the taro patch, and so that the kids got um, a deeper appreciation for all of the different aspects that go into harvesting agriculture. For them to actually get in there, I think really made them feel good about not just taking from the experience, but, but actually giving something back and learning a lot in the process.